Hi, good morning. My name is Nicole. Welcome to your Friday morning devotional from The Crossing Church. And today is Friday, so today we get to talk about prayer. And I don't know about you, I don't know how you're doing this morning, but a lot of us need prayer. We have requests. We have things that we're struggling with. We have things that we're grateful for, but in the midst of that, there are things that we really need help with. And prayer is how we enter into that together. Um, one of the beautiful things about being part of a church is that you can know that people are praying for you and care about you. You can at any point put in the comments on one of the Crossings videos that you need prayer and we will see you. You can put that here now, prayer. You can send us a message or you could email us at care at the crossing.com and there are people who will pray for you. This week we're talking about Psalm 20 and one of the really great things about Psalm 20 is it is it's not a prayer for yourself. It's not one where you read it for yourself and it, it's a prayer about just your individual life, which some of the Psalms are. But this Psalm is a group of people praying for someone else. And so I'm gonna read it and I'm gonna read it for you. And I wanna pray this over you and your life, whatever's going on, whatever distress you are in, whatever struggles you are going through, I want to pray this for you to get us started. It says, may the Lord answer you when you are in distress. May the name of the God of Jacob protect you. May he send you help from the sanctuary and grant you support from Zion. May he remember all your sacrifices and accept your burnt offerings. May he give you the desire of your heart and make all your plans succeed. May we shout for joy over your victory and lift up our banners in the name of our God. May the Lord grant all your requests. Now this I know. The Lord gives victory to his anointed. He answers him from his heavenly sanctuary with the victorious power of his right hand. Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we trust in the name of the Lord our God. They are brought to their knees and fall, but we rise up and stand firm. Lord, give victory to the king. Answer us when we call. Amen. Over your life and whatever is going on, may God answer you when you call and give you the desire of your heart and answer you in your distress. But the power of this Psalm then goes beyond each one of us, right? So this is something you can actually do with your family or with a group of friends online. You can share what's going on in your lives. You can share what's going on that you're struggling with, that you're worried about, that's going on in the future, the desires of your heart, what your distress is. And then you can read this Psalm in honor of that. For that you can use this psalm to pray for each person in your group and then that's a way that we can really be in this together so use this psalm grab your family get online with some friends talk about what's really going on and then read this psalm for each individual person and let it be a prayer I don't know about you but sometimes right now I'm not even sure how to pray there's so much going on and this psalm is a way that we can just trust these ancient words to help us pray for each other and to use these words to bring us together and care for each other. Because we know that God's victory doesn't come in the way we think it's going to, but he always answers requests. He always hears our hearts. And so I love that line in the psalm that says that we will celebrate each other's victories and we got to come back around. As we make these requests, we need to come back around and say, hey, Here's what's going on with that. Here's what's happening now so that we can celebrate God's answers and build up each other's faith as we see God answer these prayers in each other's lives. All right, your turn. Go take this psalm and pray it for and over somebody that you love and care about. And let's be people who pray for each other. Thanks, you guys. We will see you soon. I hope to see you this weekend for our Mother's Day services. It is going to be a really great time. <laughs> Bye.